You want to see something cool that we could do with XLOOKUP in Excel? Come, I'll show you. Here I have got some data and I want to do a lookup based on two criteria, multi criteria. So age should be 23 and department is sales. Essentially, we are looking for Camilla who is 23 and in the sales department. This is how you can do the XLOOKUP. We say XLOOKUP and we always look up for one. I'll explain why it is one and not 72 or 93 in a minute. Then for the lookup array, for each criteria we have, we open one set of brackets. So open bracket age is equal to 23. Close bracket and before we write the second criteria, we multiply using the star or asterisk symbol. Open one more bracket and this time department is equal to sales. So if you have got three criteria, we do three multiplications. Then for the return array, we simply type or select the range where the names are. Optionally, you can also say what to do if the value is not found. For example, I can say no such person. Close bracket and hit enter and boom, you get Camilla. Here is how you can do it for three conditions. X lookup one and this time I'm looking for age 32, department ops and gender male. You might be thinking, why is it one and not seven or 93? This is what is happening. Each check returns a set of boolean values so true or false values here you can see when i point my mouse on the date selection it shows me false 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 and true like that so it will be true where the person's age is 32 and false otherwise and when excel multiplies or does any operations additions on boolean values it automatically converts them into their number representation so when excel multiplies all of these boolean values it returns an array of zeros or ones and since we are looking up for one Essentially, we are asking in which row or in which cell we have all these conditions met. So it will find that and the corresponding name is returned. How cool is this? Do follow for more such Excel tips.